Hi, I'm Dr. Jared Gardner, and I'm here today with another textbook review. This one is Atlas of Surgical Pathology Grossing by Monica Lemos and Ekene Okoye. And I knew both Monica and Ekene um, during my time uh, in residency at Houston Methodist Hospital. And uh, Monica, in particular, spent a a lot of time teaching me how to gross. She is a PA, a pathologist assistant, and I learned much of my grossing uh, from her and from some other PAs. So not all of our mentors have to be doctors. Uh, it's really amazing how much I've learned from Monica and other pathologist assistants. And I can tell you that she is an incredibly skilled PA. Her gross dissections of specimens are just phenomenal, particularly breast. She can slice make these paper thin slices of breast perfectly laid out. Uh, it was always amazing to see. And uh, she really spent a lot of time teaching me. She's also one of the kindest and most genuine people I've probably ever known. And that's why it's it's a true honor and pleasure for me to be able to review this book uh, that she has worked so hard to make. A few things that I like about this book, going through it, um, there are basically all of the pictures are pictures of actual specimens, actual cut pieces of tissue. And in a minute, I'll show you uh, a closer look inside the book. But everything is uh, shown, how the inking is done, how the sectioning is done, how the specimens are laid out. I also really like that um, the focus here in the text is on how exactly, not just to cut it up, but how exactly to dictate it into your report. How to lay out uh, in paragraphs using the, the paragraph system, uh, which uh, we'll uh, mention in a minute. Uh, to to make your gross descriptions more clear and understandable for people who are reading them after you. And I think that's important to remember. This book is really aimed, I think, at trainees, at residents, at people who are new to grossing specimens. And at first, having a laryngectomy or a Whipple in front of you is a really daunting uh, task. There's a lot of different anatomic parts, and you gotta know that you are gonna cut it up the right way without ruining or damaging an important margin. And I think that's a great fear that residents have starting out. This book really walks you through steps Step by step, how to do it, how to have more confidence, how to say everything. And again, it's important to say it all the right way because uh, when you're first starting out, you may just think, I've got to just fill up this uh, gross description section with some text. But remember, this may be read by another doctor in another hospital years down the road who's trying to figure out what section A3 was and how that related to the margin or something like that, right? I know I have in practice had times where I've read gross descriptions done at an outside facility where I can't really make sense of what exactly was done. And it's important to always make sure that your grosses are done in a way that someone else can read it without having ever seen the specimen and figure out what it looked like, what exactly you did and what the slides match up to. And this book tells you how to do that and does it in a beautiful, very nicely illustrated way and in a very practical way. It shows you how to put the block code together, the section code um, to explain exactly what you're sampling and how to do it efficiently. And I just wanna, before we take a look inside the book closer, I wanna read you something from the preface because I think it's, it's really meaningful to me. Um, it says, the idea for this book came from Dr. Alberto Ayala, my mentor. He called me into his office and said, Monica, you should write a grossing manual. Immediately my answer was, I don't know how to do that. He said very calmly, just put on paper everything that you have been teaching the residents. And I love that because Dr. Alberto Ayala is one of my greatest pathology mentors. He is uh, really the person that probably more than anyone else inspired me to go into bone and soft tissue pathology. And he first set me up with my first rotation as a resident with Dr. Sharon Weiss, who I later did my fellowship with. So I feel like I owe him this, uh, this life debt of gratitude for not only getting me interested in bone and soft tissue pathology, but also in opening that door for me. Um, and it's mentors like Dr. Ayala who opened doors for me that uh, have made me feel so deeply indebted. And that's so much of why I spend a lot of my time mentoring and teaching online, including YouTube. The reason I do that is to try to repay my debt towards those mentors. And you can tell throughout this book how, uh, how Monica Lemos feels that exact same thing towards Dr. Ayala because she said, I, uh, I did not want to disappoint him. She really wanted to make her mentor proud. And I know that feeling, and I think probably many of you watching this know that feeling too. You want to, to please your mentors and make them proud. So I just love that. Again, I think Monica is such a genuine person and I really love that about this book. And at the end of her preface, also something else that speaks to my heart. She says, finally, 
Always think about how you would like a case to be grossed as if the patient were a member of your own family. With that thought in mind, you will always perform a gross examination with care and efficiency. There are no words stronger and more precious than that to me. So now let's take a look inside the book and let's see uh, why it's awesome and why you should consider it for all of your new residents and PA students who are first learning how to gross. So here's an example of um, sectioning a mastectomy and it goes through even simple details that you might not think about but that beginners need to know like using a very sharp long blade and making very thin slices and how to actually keep the skin down um, on the board so that you can keep your orientation as you're cutting through. And this is what I was talking about that Monica Lemos can lay out these unbelievably thin perfectly oriented slices. I, I never was able to master this skill like she was. Um, but I did also learn from this um, and I've used it for skin and other specimens. I love the idea of sectioning in uh, when you bread loaf or cereal section to lay out the pieces and number them basically so that you can say from slice number five, I have two pieces of a lesion or whatever. So I love that concept and I really, I think, picked that up from Monica more than anybody else. The text is very succinct and really focuses on tips for how to do the sectioning, tips for things to avoid, and um, then sample dictation. So for a mastectomy, look how simple this is. Receive fresh labeled as right or left mastectomy, and then it goes and it says the sizes, and then it says what lesion is and where it is, and then it says what your ink code is, and then it says what each block represents. So notice how each of these are divided into paragraphs. This is the paragraph system that was uh, promoted by Kevin Raymond, a pathologist who um, worked at MD Anderson and uh, uh, several of my mentors co-authored a paper with him about that. I'll put a link down below. It is still to this day my favorite way to dictate and arrange gross descriptions. If you uh, put all of your gross description into one giant paragraph, it makes it really hard to read. Uh, when people do that and I look and I have to, to scan through the entire paragraph to find what does orange ink represent? Well, here it's real easy. I go straight to the ink code and I can see. Again, that's something I totally learned from Monica and my other faculty um, and mentors at Methodist, uh, Houston Methodist. So a really uh, nice way to gross. And this is uh, the focus throughout the book is showing how to gross um, and how to arrange your gross descriptions in this way. Here's an example of a laryngectomy. Again, one of the more complicated specimens that's very uh, challenging, I think, and scary for beginners. I know it was kind of scary for me the first few times I did one of these. And it goes through and uh, the book orients the anatomy, what it looks like externally when you receive it, and then how to ink it, where exactly to put different color inks, how to open it up, and again, how to dictate it. And here's a closer view. This is another technique of opening the larynx and then propping it open with a piece of wooden stick, fixing it overnight, and then identifying the anatomic structures and knowing where exactly to section in relation to the tumor and the anatomic structures. It makes it a lot simpler um, when you understand all the parts and where exactly you need to cut. Here's a, a close-up view showing each different piece and how it's laid out um, and what the different anatomic structures are that you're looking at so that you know what you're seeing when you look at the slides and how that corresponds to your gross. And again, section code showing exactly what to submit in what sections or excuse me, in what blocks. And then here's a Whipple, another complicated specimen. Again, how you would receive it um, with a margin, a portion of gastric resection, um, and then the pancreas here, how to probe the ducts, and then how to open the specimen uh, in relationship to the probes, how to section through the pancreas, identifying the ducts, the tumor, and the normal background, and then how to map that out and put it into different blocks. And here's a closer view of that. So this is just a, a representative sample. The entire book's like this. Everything is a piece of actual tissue that is mapped out, put arrow, with arrows and labels and um, block codes. And I think this is a great way because sometimes when, when you have animated um, or cartoon designs, everything seems simple. And then when you actually have a piece of tissue in front of you, you're like, wow, this is a lot more complicated than it looked in the book. But this shows you, uh, here's what it actually looks like when you're looking at a piece of tissue, and here's how to do it the right way. So again, I can't uh, recommend this book highly enough for beginners because this is the way that I learned, and I think I had a fantastic education, and I'm really very lucky and fortunate to have trained uh, under Monica 
and the various other pathologists at Houston Methodist, many of whom are section editor or chapter co-authors, excuse me, um, for the different chapters in this book. So I think this is a great book for beginners um, and anyone who needs to brush up their skills on gross and complex specimens. And um, I'll put a link down below to where you can purchase this book, and I hope you'll consider uh, buying it. I've done my best to give a fair and unbiased uh, review, despite the fact that I uh, really like the people who wrote this book. So thanks again for watching. I hope you'll uh, like the video and consider subscribing to my channel. Let me know what other books you think I should review.